All right, today on Hack Your Content, I wanted to tell you about a new AI content writer called Moonbeam. I happened to stumble across it when I was reading a blog um, and found it in a list of different AI writers. It was one I've just never heard of before, so I thought I would go out and give it a shot. And I used the um, trial version for a while, really liked it. It's a great writing I wouldn't call it a full-fledged one-click blog post writing tool. It's more of an AI writing assistant. So let me just take you through the homepage quickly. Never write from scratch again. So, you know, their whole premise is it's, it's a way to kickstart your next blog post or um, article. It is a long-form tool. It is. It doesn't have... Uh, you know, 150 different types of documents and stuff that it'll, that it'll create because it's really made to be just a long form writing tool, which is perfect for bloggers. And since that's what a lot of us do, this is why I wanted to show you the tool. And it also has something called Luna. And Luna is a lot like chat GPT. And you can write in some content and write it in a question, excuse me, and it will give you back some information that you can use as you write your articles or your blog posts. So let's look at pricing quickly. Um, it's very uh, inexpensive. Now, in the interest of full transparency, uh, you know, I'm an affiliate of Moonbeam, but I, I have purchased the... Uh, yearly plan. It bills out at $15 a month, which is very inexpensive, and it gives you un unlimited long-form writing. Uh, but if you are interested in trying it out, it's got quite a generous monthly um, allotment of words, 30,000 AI-assisted words for free. Now, I will tell you, you're not going to get all of the features that you get in a paid plan. Um, you know, but compared to the price of a lot of different plans, it's very economical. So let's go ahead and get in, into the tool. So there are quite a few ways that you can start creating a document. Um, the easiest way is to use one of the wizards. So I typically go to the writer templates. And in this case, um, I use the blog one almost 100% of the time. So creating a blog post is pretty easy. Uh, so in this case, um, I'm gonna write one on how to start fly fishing. And then you describe who you're writing the content for So in this case, I wrote for people interested in starting to fly fish. And then you can add keywords. Now, this is where you're going to have to think a little bit. The tool's not going to do this for you. So if you are if you have a niche blog and you're an authority in that niche and you're writing an article, chances are you're going to have keywords and phrases already in mind to add. In fact, one thing that I did is I went into Neuron Writer, and you could do this with, with Surfer SEO or Phrase, and you could have it generate, um, you know, the the optimized headings, and then just put these headings in here as the keywords. I've done that, and it works great. But I'll go ahead and add some keywords so you can see how a post, uh, a blog post outline is generated. All right, so I went ahead and I added these different keywords and phrases. Now <clears throat> I happen to know a lot about. Uh, fly fishing. So I was able to just drop these in. Uh, again, you know, it's not going to do this for you. This is something that you'll have to do on your on your own. But now you can generate a blog post outline from this. All right, so the outline is complete. Uh, one thing Moonbeam has is this upvote downvote tool. So when you look through um, these th this uh, particular information that it's generated for you, 
uh, you can upvote it or downvote it to help the developers know whether they're being effective in uh, creating the right talking points for your post. So I'm just going to upvote this. Run through it. It looks very good. So you've got one more step. Create points. And then once that's completed, you can, you can do one of two things. You can work in this as an editor. So you can, you know, just skip generation and edit from here. What it's going to do is drop you into the editing uh, part of the tool. And in that tool, there will be resources to generate more AI content. But if you prefer to just start writing from scratch and then using some of their tools to generate some content, you can do that. Uh, if you're more of uh, a one-click blog post type person, then I would click the put the finishing touches on this button. All right. So here's the article that it generated. So you need to go through and you need to read it and you need to determine whether A, it's factual, uh, and B, that it's readable. Uh, the content that I've been getting out of Moonbeam has been excellent. It's really, really been good content. Now, there are other tools that you can use uh, so, for instance, let's say that you want to rewrite this sentence. It'll paraphrase that content for you and rewrite that if that's what you want. Um, if you want to add some more content, like when do you use a dry fly? You can just go over to the tool called Luna. It's like a chat GPT type tool. So I just, I'm just going to type in when are good times to use a dry fly when fly fishing. So it's just going to kick back some information for me about uh, when to use a dry fly when fly fishing. And I can go through here, and if there's something that looks good, I can just grab it, copy it, and drop it in the document. Now, I'm not going to go through every single tool here in the toolbar, um, but it's a very, very nice and elegant editing interface. And because um, of the way that it formats everything, if you do use WordPress or any CMS, content management system, you can just grab all this content and just drop it right into WordPress or whatever tool you're using, uh, and it'll format very, very nicely. So some of the other tools that you see up here, there's the paraphrasing tool, an instant second draft tool, they have this boss mode tool, which will completely rewrite this content uh, in a creative fashion, for example, if that's what you want. You just uh, fill in this prompt and you can say rewrite the content for a fifth grader or rewrite the content content for um, rewrite the content so it's more creative and it will replace the whole document uh, in that vein. So the last thing I want to do is go to Originality AI, and let's just drop the article in there and see what kind of score we get. I've been finding that many of my articles in Moonbeam, from Moonbeam, right out of the gate, have been getting excellent scores in Originality AI. Now, not all of them do but a lot of them do. So let's see how this one fares. So it's 36% original, 64% AI. 
I've had them as high as 97% original. Um, and then I've had them as low as 4% original. So it will vary depending on uh, the article that you're writing and the topic. Um, but the, the main thing about Moonbeam, like any other tool, is you do need to, to add your own touch to these documents. And the more sections that you add your own information to, because you're an expert in your field, uh, that adds more variability to the document. So when you do test it in some of these um, tools that are out there, uh, so let's just try the content at scale AI detector and just see what it says. So it comes up with a 26% human score. So again, it'll vary from document to document. I've had them as high as 97%. For example, let's just see if I can go back to... So here's, here's one that I wrote. It was, a do, it was an article about things to do in Yellowstone Park. 100% original was the score. That was straight out of Moonbeam. So, you know, it's just going to vary from document uh, to document. I think the more niche it is um, and the more creative it is, uh, the better the originality score. There's a quick document tool if you don't use a document wizard. And that's basically the editor. So you, ch you could open up uh, Surfer SEO, Neuron Writer, Phrase, take your H2 headings, drop them in here, and then you could start using some of the content rewriting tools here and generate um, some of your own AI content along with your original content. And again, if you want to um, take a closer look at Moonbeam, it's gomoonbeam.com. So it's a tool that I purchased. I'm writing a lot of content with it for my blogs. I really like it. Uh, I'm using it along with niches, and the two combined have been great. And remember, this does have a free trial, so you can check it out for yourself. But if long-form content is your primary mode of um, writing, then I think you'll really like this tool. So if this has been helpful, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, uh, like the content, or like the video, excuse me. And until next time, this has been Hack Your Content, and take care.